What is up everyone and welcome back to a &R Gaming. This time we're going to be doing another Genshin Impact video, but it's going to be a little bit different from all of our normal quest stuff um, and tip stuff. This one's actually going to be about a leak that has just hit. So we've had a ton of leaks for Genshin Impact recently. Um, some of them have, we found out to be false. Uh, some of them look pretty concrete, but these ones are specifically about the characters that we know are coming their abilities were just leaked off of the Chinese test server. And we also have uh, footage of them to verify that. So someone from the Chinese test server ended up leaking this. Um, there is gonna be footage of, of the abilities or some of the abilities shown for some of the characters in the video. The UID is there, but it is not mine. <laughs> so um, that person has already been banned from the test server. Uh, word has it so um, you know that's on them but anyways so we're gonna be going over the abilities for uh, Zhong Li for Zen Yan and then for Childy so those three characters right there we have most of their pretty much all of their kit there's a few things that are still a little uh, iffy on just because it's all translated and so some of the translations are a little rough so let's go ahead and start off with Zhong Li first so this is the um, pole arm geo class that we've been waiting for. He looks amazing. You guys can probably recognize him from the game. So first thing is his charged attack. So his charged attack is going to be kind of like a uh, short teleport dash movement. It's really cool looking. Um, it's a uh, his normal attack is going to be six consecutive hits, and his plunging attack is going to be just the basic plunge attack that everyone has. Um, so let's talk about the fun stuff now. His abilities. So for his uh, elemental skill, so his E ability. Um, whenever you tap it, it summons a rock from underneath the ground and uh, puts everyone into this kind of area, locks everyone into this kind of area and deals ongoing Geo AOE damage during it. And during that time, it will also react with other Geo elements to create an extra Geo resonance, dealing additional Geo damage to nearby enemies. So um, this Geo resonance can block attacks and only one can exist at a time. So you'll see that in the um, video and that'll clear up a little bit of the, the foggy <laughs> image that you're probably pulling together right now. But um, yeah, so that, that's what that one looks like. Now, if you tap and hold it, you get more of a defensive ability. So this one summons and bursts nearby Geo elements from the environment, creating a Geo shield that possesses 250 absorption efficiency against Geo damage. The total absorption scales with Zhongli's max HP and it deals Geo -E, I'm sorry, <laughs> it deals Geo AOE damage. So this one's definitely more of a defensive maneuver um, that also steals, deals out some damage. So really cool, looks like um, like a damagey support character from, from the looks of it, uh, which is very interesting. So next we have his burst ability, right? So this is his, um, his Q ability. It, it drops giant rocks dealing AOE geo damage. And get this, it petrifies the enemies. So petrification is something that we haven't seen before and petrification, basically enemies won't be able to move and will receive 20% more physical and geo damage. So that is massive. Once again, a, a very kind of like supporty, but damagey move. So this is shaping up to be quite the character right here. Not to mention, as you will see shortly, his animations look amazing. So <laughs> speaking of that, let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. I'm just going to comment on it while we're watching it together. So you can see right there, he's doing his normal combo attack. And then... He's just doing it again. Very cool animations for it. Right there, that's his charge move. So that's the thing that I was I was mentioning before where um, he just does like a sort teleportation move, which is a lot better <laughs> than a lot of other ones because um, you don't, like you can get hit potentially in, in your um, dodge move still. But in this one, I, I have a feeling that the hitbox it won't be there. So it'll be a little bit better. There are already some characters that we have that kind of have that, but it's good to know that he has that as well. All right, and then going back to it, doing more normal attacks, another charge, and then here is his um, tap ability for his elemental skill, as you guys can see. So there can only be one up at a time, so keep that in mind, but um, that is a very, 
it, it having it low cooldown i'm not sure if it can be destroyed or not but having it low cooldown does present a lot of utility to be able to use it quite constantly so that is very good um let's go ahead and move on to the next character i say so i know that that was just a short little video but that's all there was out there so i'm sorry it's going to be the same thing for a child day whenever we get there let's go ahead and knock out Yan real quick i don't have there any footage for her i don't think anyone has any footage for her but um let's go ahead and, and talk about it real quick so this is the four star one that we're going to be getting the four star pyro she's a claymore and for her charged attack you know she does her standard whirlwind aoe spin that drains stamina and then she does a powerful slash move right at the end <clears throat> her plunging attack is the basic plunge attack that you guys always have and then her e ability so her her elemental skill zinyan uses her instruments to deal massive aoe pyro damage and creates a shield and that shield absorbs damage scaled by her defense and how many enemies she hits so this has a little bit of a so not only does it do some damage but it also um well it, it does some massive uh, aoe pyro damage apparently but it also gives you that ongoing shield afterwards which is great and so as it said it does scale with uh, how many people you hit so if you hit zero or one enemies you get a level one shield so don't worry no matter what you will get that level one shield if you hit two enemies, you get a level two shield. And then if you hit three enemies, you get a level three shield that also, get this, deals pyro damage to surrounding enemies. So that is a big benefit right there. More damage on top of that. And then um, for the shield, uh, when casted, creates a pyro damage buff to Xinyan and absorbs 250 pyro damage now once again like we're not sure exactly this is one of those things absorbs 250 pyro damage is that level one or is that level three we don't know so that's one of those things where it's just a, it's a little fuzzy on what exactly that means but it looks like um if this is correct that you also get uh, a pyro damage buff once you do it for ongoing um damage with her if that's fire so that'll be very cool um, very good ability. She seems like fire is, is super important in this game. You can do so many great um, elemental effects with it. And not to mention, it's always good to have a pyro character because you need it so often in the world in general. Um, but the next one is going to be the Q ability. This is her uh, elemental burst. And for this one, I love the wording on this one. Guitar shredding knocks off nearby enemies and deals physical damage. Triggers musical stage effect quote unquote because the notes are <laughs> too hot to handle <laughs> they will continuously deal pyro damage to nearby enemies okay so basically you know we don't exactly know what the musical stage effect is um it looks like a new effect that's unique to her but i'm assuming it's it's a big knockback effect um but yeah, and, and then it obviously does a bunch of pyro damage to nearby enemies, it says. So that'll be pretty cool. Like I said, unfortunately, there's no footage for this one, so you're not going to be able to see this one. But um, she kills people with the power of rock. I mean, what else is there to know? We already love her. <laughs> so, um, you know, if you didn't get uh, Deluke, no problem. Now we have a four-star version that's going to be apparently very, very good from what everyone is saying. All right, so let's go ahead now and talk about Childy. So this is the character that a lot of people have been wanting uh, because you know, obviously you've seen him in the game as well. And uh, but his his abilities to have like those water daggers look very cool. But he's a very interesting case. So he basically has two different versions. He he can stance dance. Um, for anyone that plays League of Legends with Uter, you guys know what I'm talking about. And uh, basically, so what we're gonna do here is for the bow version that's his base version right so he has a bow and you guys can probably see that from the uh, picture of him and so for his bow he has six consecutive normal attacks his charged attack uh, does higher damage and accuracy with hydro damage and creates a water cutoff effect so this water cutoff effect is another unique effect that i'm pretty sure is just exclusive to him um but water cutoff upon hit uh, Childy will deal AOE hydro damage to enemies. This damage will be equal to normal attacks. Okay, so basically AOE hydro damage uh, is what this water cutoff effect is. All right, 
And then, so let's go ahead and talk about his E ability. So this is his elemental skill. Um, unleash the power of Hydro and deals AOE Hydro damage and switches to melee stance. So this is how you end up making the switch um, from stance to stance. So once you hit that, you're gonna be going into, it looks like it's gonna be doing a little bit of a burst AOE Hydro damage thing, just to kind of get people, you know, do some damage if you're, if you're close by anyone and then you get that melee stance. So in his melee stance, your normal attacks will also do six consecutive melee hydro attacks. So he will be doing hydro attacks on base attacks, which is fantastic, by the way. And then for uh, his charged attack, um, drain stamina over time to perform two dagger slashes, deals hydro AOE damage. So what you'd probably expect. And then um, for the water cutoff slash, Upon melee hits to enemies that are affected by a normal water cutoff, deals AOE Hydra damage, damage equal to normal attack. So if you, once again, the situation of if they have a water cutoff effect and you hit them with your blades, you are going to be proccing that AOE Hydra damage. All right, and then we have the burst effect, right? So his, his elemental burst is Q. So this is going to be based on what stance he's in. He has basically two different ones. Um, so for his ranged one, it launches a hydro magical arrow that deals AOE massive hydro damage. Um, upon casting, will recharge some of the used energy and apply the water cutoff effect. All right, and then so for his melee form, performs a massive forward slash dealing massive hydro damage and um, triggering water cutoff explosion. So um, this water cutoff explosion part is once again, one of the things that it's a little like iffy sounding. I'm not sure if it's actually different from the triggering the effect of the water cutoff slash from before, but um, it basically says the same thing that it's just going to be, you know, enemies that are hit by the ability or under the effect of water will be dealt hydro AOE damage nor equal to normal attacks. So there is a little bit of an asterisk right there that it, it can also be applied to people that are, looks like are already affected by water in general. So we'll have to see. That's another one of the, the little asterisk if, iffy points, but um, yeah, but let's go ahead and take a look at his moves now. All right, so as you can see, he's shooting off his arrow attacks right here, uh, doing his charged up attacks, and then he just right there, Oh, let me just pause <laughs> right there that's when he just did the uh, stance dance and so he did switch his forms and as you can see now during his combo he's actually switching between not only just daggers but also a pole arm at some point so i'm not sure if the pole arm actually does anything um differently it looks like it's just for aesthetic purposes of being just like you know oh my weapons are made of water so i can make it whatever i want but uh yeah it looks like it's it's base kind of form was, was just going to be daggers but still very cool and so it stops up on the rock there and just going through his normal attacks right here. And unfortunately with him, we don't see anything else. So we just see his kind of, uh, you know, base form switching and all that kind of stuff. Uh, for neither of them, we didn't get to see the ultimates, which is very unfortunate because I would have loved to see both of them with their ultimates. But it is what it is so i'm glad that we got that little bit thank you all so much for tuning in and listening to this i'm very excited about these new characters as are you i'm sure i'd be saving those wishes right now <laughs> i'm telling you because uh they're these three characters um are looking very very promising um that being said venti is very good so if you want to pull for venti you know you're not making a bad decision that's for sure because he's very very good character but anyways, um, that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like and subscribe and uh, leave comments if you found out anything more about these characters or you know a little bit more of the specifics of those, those iffy moments that we weren't quite sure about from the translations. Anything like that would be awesome. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it, everyone. Thank you all so much and uh, tune in next time. See ya.